It's an art venue like you've never seen before. Berlin's Haus am Walsi was built as a private mansion in 1922, but since 1946 has held the title of one of Berlin's best exhibition spaces. But what makes it so special? We sent Miranda Atty to find out. From the outside, it looks like it belongs in a fairy tale. This is Haus am Wolzi. Under director Katja Blomberg, it's become known as a platform for Berlin artists. Well, it's a little bit the, the little Louisiana from um, Berlin. So it's a little bit outside, it's, it's green, it's, it's a nice area here. Yeah? And the people come and they stay for a couple of hours. And um, so as I'm now um, making the, the program since 12 years, I invite very well-known uh, artists who are living and working in Berlin only, so this is my concept. I think we are very rich of having very interesting artists from all over the world, of course. And um, so I do more uh, one-man shows or one-woman shows, more than group shows. I think the people, they, they can get into, it, into an oeuvre much more than just looking at a commercial gallery. During my visit, photographer Julian Rodez's work is on display. While the exhibitions may be constantly changing, the venue remains consistent. It's full of light and has plenty of space and peace. not just the inside that's full of art, we've also got this amazing sculpture garden and the lake. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, as uh, Berlin has such a rich and outstanding uh, art scene, of course I can find easily um, very, very interesting and well-known artists. Showed Henry Moore, for instance, for four years ago, a big show also in the garden. And uh, we have a Lynn Chadwick uh, piece from, uh, from England as a loan. So uh, Michael Seilsdorfer, who is quite famous German young sculptor, or Thomas Rentmeister, we have very nice pieces. A little bit hidden even in the garden. How Sam Voldzies hosted exhibitions from many greats like Joan Miro, Georges Braque and Pablo Picasso. It's also been the venue for concerts like A Midsummer Night's Dream and the William Tell Overture. Every single exhibition it holds offers something different and each one generates debate. All in a house where Snow White and the Dwarves could feel right at home. Miranda Atty, TRT World, Berlin.